The overall goal of this procedure is to measure force generation during a maximal contraction of zebrafish larval trunk muscle. This is accomplished by first making suture loops that will be used to hold the larva in place during force measurements. Next, the anesthetized larva is positioned inside the experimental chamber. Once in place, the force is recorded during a maximal twitch contraction. The final step is to measure the dimensions of the trunk musculature so that peak force can be normalized to muscle cross-sectional area. Ultimately, measuring force generation during contraction is used to show changes in muscle function and overall muscle health. Although we demonstrate this method using wild-type zebrafish larvae, it can also be used with genetically modified larvae or with larvae treated with drugs or toxicants. The method can then be used to characterize muscle disease models and evaluate treatments or to study muscle development, injury, or chemical toxicity. The first step is to prepare the suture loops that will be used to hold the larvae in place during force testing. Use forceps to separate non-sterile suture into three strands. Once separated, begin to tie a double overhand knot in one of the strands, but stop before tightening the knot completely to make a small loop instead. To finish the loop, use scissors to cut excess suture from the tails. Place the loop on the sticky side of a sticky note for later use. Make two suture loops for each larva that will be tested. First, place the testing apparatus on the stage of a stereo microscope. Next, connect the force transducer and length control.